What's up? Um, I don't know if I'll post this because I, I'm just ranting here about some stuff. Right now, I'm hiding out in the car. Maybe I'll get into a reason why I'm hiding in the car. But to kind of update, um, the transition back to living in the States is... It sucks, I guess. I don't know. I wasn't expecting... It to be, I, I can say this, right? So my mom died. That sucks, but I'm over that, if that makes sense. Like, I can't bring her back and I'm not, you know, whatever. That, for me, that's that's a finished thing, you know? Like, I go to the grave. I don't really need to go to the grave. Like, the whole funeral, I could have skipped it because, you know, that, you know, she's in my heart now, so I don't. Um, the whole not being in Japan thing and working, being a teacher, and again, that's also, that that is what it is, you know? This is the new chapter, and I'm not really uh, lamenting on that either. But some of the things that are just weird, I don't know if you could say weird, annoying, I don't even know what you call it, but, so, uh, uh um I don't know if well I'm 41 so I can say so some of y'all I don't know if you know but you remember the show Body Snatchers I think it was called Body Snatchers and these aliens came it's it's a reoccurring theme in a lot of current ones but back then aliens came and they were taking people and then one guy was left I think it was a kid and it was up to him to save his town as they're being brainwashed or whatever i kind of feel like that in the sense that living in japan and living in the states you you just uh you just well i don't know some people bring their stateness to japan and they're just like that but for me I, if i was in japan right now i'd be walking about Doing everything I used to usually do, whether I post it or not, because you know I wasn't posting, but I just be looking at clouds or taking pictures of birds or doing photography or going to the studio, and my mind would be occupied. Now, don't get me wrong, I I had the things that bothered me in Japan, but being home, like every other day, there's a shooting. There was a shooting across the street from my house. And I don't even live in, like, the ghetto or anything, but bullets don't really discriminate where they come. You know, people drive, people walk, whatever. The school at Temple University, my school, there's, like, a shooting, robbing, like, every other day. Like, it's called the Philadelphia, the brotherly something of love, or whatever, but... Or if it isn't the shooting, it's, um just things you know things change so like the swimming pool i used to go to when i was like 10 it's like a, a, a landfill i mean there's no nothing in there but everything is drained and there's like rocks piled up and it doesn't look like it's gonna be a pool i like i was joking with my dad the other day all the places i used to work are out of commission now, this doesn't bother me, but, you know, this is what I'm coming home to. Most of my friends have moved away or they got their kids. They're doing, you know, their thing. So, again, but I wasn't expecting to come home and, like, go play baseball. And right now, the parking lot I'm in, we used to play baseball behind this club, which has been closed for, like, five years. Anyway. But, like, what's bothering Annoying me is like the body snatcher example. I feel now. I, if anyone who followed my channel, you probably you could probably finish this sentence. What is my pet peeve? And someone's like, you just don't like when people give you advice. And I'm like, all right, you listen to me. Now that's one thing when it's like online because it's like you know these people. I don't know who these people are behind their little screen names and trolls do exist and that's one thing, but coming home these they have faces you know 
so I'm getting all this advice from all these people about all this stuff and it's just like how do you how do you like for me that's the worst part people telling me how to grieve people telling me what I shouldn't think about people telling me what I which and it's and I, I keep thinking to myself I lived in Japan 15 years without you telling me anything and I was doing just fine I'm only here because of the circumstances and as I mentioned before I already came to terms with that but like for example I was sitting in my living room just working on some music on the computer had my headphones on now I guess some people be like giggling and jumping up in town jumping up and down when they do music on the computer but I I'm just you know I'm focused on clicking this and you know I was doing a lot of reading up on some of the programs I bought in the past and you know so my dad looks over and he's like come on man Go outside and be merry. Enjoy your life. Hang out with your friends. Go get your girlfriends. I'm like, dude. I didn't say this because it... I'm like, dude, I... I just got here, man. I, I, I didn't have any little girlies waiting for me when I came back home. You know, they're in Japan, actually. And I don't... But then, like, he's yelling at me, like, why are you sitting here if you want to sit in the dark... Like, let me be. I'm doing what... I'm doing exactly... The, well, more or less, I'm doing exactly the same thing. Or... Um, like, my birthday just passed, right? And my sister came down. And the plan was, I'm going to go to New York. Go to, like, a play, Broadway play or something. So she came down so I could... So, I, I, I mean, I'm not going to edit this. So, if it goes up like this, just... I'm, I'm... So, my dad is sick, right? He's 88 years old. So, someone has to be in the house with him in case something happens. And my sister, she lives in Florida. My brother, he lives about 20 minutes away, but he has his own family. So, m my situation was the easiest to disrupt. I don't have kids. I'm not married. My job isn't... So, so that's why I'm here, and that's, so the plan is, you know, just be chilling in September, my brother will retire, and then we could kind of assess things, so, so the first couple of months, or first two months, six weeks, I'm just sitting in the house trying to make sure my dad is okay, and he's keep kicking me out, and I'm trying not to be annoyed because he just lost his wife, I just lost my mom, but it's just getting stressful, and then everyone telling me don't worry about it. Like how? So anyway, so I, so I just started leaving. Like right now, I'm in the parking lot because we had a new issue, whatever. But anyway, so um, yeah, and then you know um, um, dating is just weird. I went on three dates officially, and it's. Like, I'm using dating apps because I was going to Walmart hoping I would, like, run into someone. But I don't really like the... No, I'm going to Walmart. But Wegmans is a place where I'd rather bump into someone. If, you, now, if you're a Weg... If you're a Walmart... Yeah. But, um... But, yeah. So, then I started going to the gym. But I don't want to be that guy. But other than that, I don't know where I'm going to meet people. There's not really any clubs. I don't do the bar. I mean, the other day I was standing on my porch. And this... She must have been like 15 years old. She's like... As she's walking past. Just... Come on now. Chill with that. But yeah, so... I'm... And I joined some meetups. Like, I'm doing what I can do. Because in reality, it's like being in a different country. If I manage in Japan, I could manage back in my home country. I just need to figure it out. But all my ideas and methods, people are just like yapping in my ears. And and it's just like, that's the problem for me. 
And then when I explain my problem, people become therapists. Like I have a therapist and that's like, I don't know. So she can say this because she's a therapist. Everyone else, it just annoys me. It'll be like, Matthew, that's not even a problem. You just got to do X. Like, I didn't ask you if it's a problem. I'm telling you what my problem is. And and it's just, it's, it's like, even if you set your boundaries, like, don't talk about these things. People still want to. Oh, man. So anyway, I went on three dates. The last date I went on, which I was really excited. She was, uh, I'm not going to get into what she But she was my age, no kids, no baby drama, never been married. Her birthday was a week before mine. So everything, I don't do astrology, maybe because we're both Tauruses. It was just destined to fail. I don't really know what that meant. But from the first time we talked, she was one of those people that have to give you their opinion and let you know that whatever you're dealing with is not that important. And I, I try it as softly as I can because I'm not trying to, you know, ruin the beginning of something. I'm just, uh, you know, I'm, I'm not really, um, I'm not really interested in people telling me about things that they don't really know about. And then she comes back, well, you know, and she starts telling me about her family things. And I, I want to say, well, that's your family. It's not my family. So can you just... But she did it for any topic. If I'm talking about music, she's trying to relate. And the opposite, if she said something and I was like, yeah, that reminds me. She's like, that's different. That's different. See, I am a woman. And and I, I like my brain, the way I think, like when inconsistencies, when they, when they pop up, I want to resolve them. But I'm trying not to. So this goes on for about a month. And then we meet. Yeah, that's right. It took a month to meet. She lives like right around the street. No, she lives like 40 minutes away. But um, we meet. It was nice. But it, it didn't change, you know. Um, so yesterday, we're talking. And again, you know, I got some family issues. And I'm just like out on the porch just trying to. And she calls and she's like, what's up? And I'm like, you know, I'm, I'm just, you know, I'm just chilling out here getting something, fresh air. She's like, you want to talk about it? I'm like, no. She's like, you sure? I'm like, uh, yeah. Only because I know I have a very strong feeling how it's going to go. She's going to go back into. So I, I, I give her the, the, the rundown and she goes, so. And then she starts talking about how in her family she did this and what I need to do and her exact words or something to the effect of when people are telling you stuff and you don't want to hear it, you tell them. So I'm thinking, okay, the next time you start this, I'm going to tell you, even though you're not going to like, and I even said that just, you know, but it seems people don't dream or have, have imaginations or, or the logical next steps of, so anyway, we talk and then she's just going on as, as usual. And I'm trying to make it work because, you know, I don't know. Well, I know there's a lot of people and I'm pretty sure my partner in crime is out there somewhere. But right now this was, you know, it's been a month of, you know, trying to whatever. So I hang up the phone and then like five, four hours later, you know, I call her. She picks up. She's like, hey, what's up? She said she's not feeling well. I said, what's wrong? She said nothing. So I'm already irritated because she was making a big point. Like she wants to know when something is wrong. So then she, she started doing something. She, she started saying something like, yeah, when I, when I'm feeling down, I want someone to, I expect someone to be empathetic. I expect. So then it just, well, I expect when I tell somebody something that they don't jump in with their life story. And then as I'm saying this, she starts, uh, and I'm like, you know, we should hang up the phone. She's like, da -da 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 -da. I'm like, we really should hang up the phone because where this is going, you're not going to like it. Da -da 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 -da. And then she's over talking over me and I'm over talking over her. And she's like, I don't, I, I don't, I, I don't really. I'm like, you see, that's my point. She's like, oh, right. Then later, okay, fine. You got what you wanted. You don't want to be with me. 
But now I'm just like, you know what? Fuck it. And then we're just like arguing and she's like, oh, boy. And I just hang up the phone and. But. Uh... Now, I guess it didn't happen in Japan because uh, the language thing. I, I mean, I dated people who spoke English, but the culture would be a little different. I didn't really meet many Japanese girls who were going out of their way to tell people how to live their life. That seems to be a theme about Americans. Americans know everything. I am American, I guess, but I think that's why Japan worked for me. Like, I'm, I guess it's because I, I, when I was in Japan, many people would be like saying something like, man, if Japan would do this and I'd be like, well, if Japan did that, they wouldn't be Japan. You know, like, this is their country. This is how they survived. And you see how America is. So we shouldn't try to make Japan Americans. You know, it comes with a good plus and minus. But, um... But it's just... Like, I don't know if I, I'm going to find someone who's, like... Like, people... Like... It, it seems like everyone I'm talking to, they kind of will say this, you know. Sometimes you just gotta say X. You have to play the game. You have to play the part. Social norms and rules, they're like, you just gotta follow them, even if it's not true. I know what you mean, but you just gotta follow them. And I'm saying, why don't we just be, like, real? Like, if I don't like this, then don't try to force me to do that. But then it be it comes an argument. Like, 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 for example, I'm making this video. I don't know if I'm gonna post it, but if it posts, whatever. I'm not gonna spam you guys. Be up in a thing, and if you come across it, you come across it. And if you don't, you don't. That's different from you gotta listen to this video. I'm not even gonna like uh clickbait it. Like I and if you follow my channel, you know I rarely I mean, there is a picture of some little Japanese woman in a short skirt, which I guess is clickbait. But the whole story was about why the skirts are so short. Like, it's, it's not clickbait. Uh, apparently, YouTube told me that, like, they when they kicked me out of the program, they were saying that some of my videos are... But I don't think they watched any of them. I mean, videos of me walking around aimlessly talking about whatever. I doubt they're going to have a human and all that but um yeah so that's my situation right now um i don't know what i'm supposed to do i mean i'm working on music that's why i got in the car go off to the park to go work on music but it's not the music part like i could take all the songs i made in japan like, I need a... I don't... I, I don't know. Like, all I'm getting now is, you know, I tell someone, they're just like, you're so talented, Matthew. You're so talented. You're so great. You're just... Give it time. It's going to work out. Like, that seems to be the mantra. I don't want to hear that. I want to hear... Well, I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't know, but... Yeah... And, uh, that's about it. We're at 18 minutes. I was going to live stream this, so I wouldn't, but I ain't got no internet. That's another thing. Internet is spotty. I'm on, I'm on uh, T-Mobile. That shit does not work outside. And luckily in the house, I got 5G. But, yeah. So, um, I mean, I was thinking... I could sit there and, because, like, uh, this might be longer than it needs to be, but I just got to get it out and talk, just talk, whatever. So, um, as I mentioned, my dad's 88, and um, my brother found a senior care program where they'll pay, it's free, basically, you just got to, you just got to get it accepted, and everyone in the family is kind of like that's a good thing you know they they'll put the magic uh chairlift on the stairs if he can't go up for free 
They'll bring the hospital beds if he needs one to put down in the, the living room so he could, they'll do all that for free. If we have to call the ambulance, they'll pick us up for free. Um, I will technically be his caretaker, so I'll get paid by them, by the, by the country, by the state. Doing exactly, like right now my dad doesn't, so here's the thing, my dad right now, he, he's very, I don't know, what's the word, like, he still cooks for himself, he's still taking his own baths, he's still working out in the garden, he's still, like, he's still doing everything himself, but, so, um, how the program is once you're in you're in for life so right now he doesn't need it we don't have to use it but i'm still going to get paid you know so it's a win for me and then in the future when he does need it we don't have to worry about signing up for it it's just it's on deck so now i, I there's no one to blame exactly but the way that my brother and the program person explained it it's like anyone who does business you're supposed to you're supposed to know their pain points and figure out how to solve it they took the pain points and they just kind of poked it so my dad's independent and they're like yeah we're gonna put in a, a bed down here so you don't have to walk up the steps and the first thing he thought is you're trying to take away my independence and they're like no we didn't say that this is just a benefit of this and we could put a stair lift. And he's like, why do I need a stair lift? I walk up the steps. And the more they talked, and I'm just sitting there like, stop talking. Stop, stop. But they keep talking. So the first week is just like, after everyone leaves, it's just me and dad in the house. And all day long, I don't need a stair lift. I don't need. No, this just affects me. I cannot work on my music with this grumbling about something that no one ever said. So I call up my aunt, like, hey, aunt, um, your brother is whatever, can you come? And I call up the, the lady in charge of the program, like, just giving her the 411 about what you're doing is not going to work. So, so they come back again. So it's my aunt, my brother, me, and this lady. We kind of smooth it out. He kind of, okay. Okay, I don't need to have this stuff because I don't want it. So then we had to get the the paper, the, the bank statements because, you know, it's America. They, they're quick to say, you do you make too much money. I mean, it happened to me once. I, I, I was working and then I was at college. So I, I was doing a summer job or whatever. So when I went, I was technically entitled to like X amount of dollars a month because I worked like overtime and double time all summer for like the past three years. So the money is mine, but they're like, uh, no, you do not qualify. I'm like, who the hell qualifies? So, so yesterday my brother was saying, so we get the paperwork to finance and they're looking at it because some of the numbers just look, some of the transactions are weird. Easily, easily to be explained, but they just need to confirm, right? So we just needed to write a letter saying that this is what that was about. So my brother yesterday was just saying, hey, dad, I'm going to write a letter just saying about where your, your money is going or whatever. And then my dad just blew up. Why do they want to know where my money's going? Why are they in my business? Do they want to know how much underwear I change a week? Which I thought was pretty funny. I think that's where I get my, uh, my, uh, my, uh, my, my sarcastic humor. But, like, it just, like, I didn't anticipate that he would be so upset about this point. I, I kind of knew he didn't want them to take away the independence. But at this point, he just, so that was yesterday. And this is what I was telling the girl about. And when she's going on and on, like, she has no idea what I'm talking about. Like, that's that's her situation, but it's not mine. So don't try to put them together like that. That's just, 
And that's why I kind of just, you know, hung up the phone because I, I'm, whatever. This is going to be a lifelong thing with her. But anyway, so my brother leaves and then all night my dad is talking about this. Grumbling about this. And then, um, um, this morning when I wake up, because I always check on him in the morning just to make sure he's alive, because that's the, that's what's going on now. He asked me, I couldn't sleep last night. He said, he told me I couldn't sleep last night. He's like, do you know why? And here's another thing. People always ask me these questions. Of course I know why. Why are you asking me? But they want to tell you. So you got to let them, no, I don't know. And he's like, man, I've just been stressing over this. I don't think I want to be in the program. And this is just like, this program is free. Everyone's going to benefit. But he's fixated on this thing and, you know, we can't force him. So I called my brother, or I called the lady last night to give her a heads up. And she's just, oh, but it's a great program. I said, yeah, but this is my dad. You know, this is just how he is. But it's a great program. Yes, but this is my dad. And this is how, I, but it's a great, going around and around. No, she's great. I just, you know, she's, I mean, she just met him a week ago. Like, I lived with him for like forever. I called my brother and he's in going like, man, it's a great program. He he just got to do it. He just got to understand. But you just, you can't force anybody to do anything. You can. And this is where my business, like, if you can figure out, like, because you remember iPods? I didn't buy an iPod. They didn't market it to me. A CD was fine at that time. Like the marketing. Now I was... Uh, and I was just thinking, you know, like when they market, when they sell credit cards, when they get you to get credit cards, they don't put in big, bold letters that, you know, that $50 shirt you bought today. And if you pay the, the minimum for the next seven years, it's going to cost you about $3,000. Because if they put it that way, you would be like, nah, I'm, I don't need the 15% discount. Or if cigarettes, I mean, in uh, Hong Kong, they put like a pictures of the uh, the lungs people with cancer they put that on the carton but i still saw people smoking so but you got to know your audience and you got to tailor the message to them otherwise it's just gonna like that's business class one-on-one but no one is thinking about it as a business they're coming from the angle that it's good for you so why would there be a problem but you never know like you gotta you gotta know like when people try to sell me shit there's a way you could sell it to me, but you got to know, like the, my, the, the girl, she could have sold me her ideas if she just held her tongue, I guess. She could still think what she's thinking and she could wait to a later time to kind of do what she's doing, but she's doing it right at that moment. And there's other shit, but, um, so yeah, man, this what sucks i don't see any of these situations just getting better there'll probably be another shooting down the corner as it gets hotter outside my dad will probably have a heart attack because he's he, he's like I, I i left the house because like he's just still going on in his room and then he might come into my room and say da, 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 da. and i'm just i i, I mean Part of me is like, I should just pull out the camera and just be like, this is my life. This is the behind the scenes and just put everybody on blast. On some Kardashian, which I've never seen, but on some like behind the scenes, some people would know, wow, their family's fucked up. I'm glad I'm not there but still be watching. But I can't do that because, you know, privacy. I don't want people like that. I wouldn't, everyone would have to be on board with that. So, yeah, so... I mean, and, uh, but I'm healthy. You know, I've been, I went to the doctors. I got to get my wisdom teeth pulled out. Not looking forward to that. Checked my ears and my eyes. I'm going to have glasses the next time I pop up on here. I'm not blind or anything. Like I'm still 2020, but once they did the AB comparison, it's just a little bit more sharper. So get my glasses. 
Um, I'm at the gym. I'm doing my ab crunches. I run on the elliptical. I don't know. I, I work out on the elliptical. I do Zumba classes. Um, I swim on Wednesday. It's like I'm, I'm doing my best to just, you know, just to, um, yeah. So yeah, that's my update. And, uh, yeah. So I hope everyone is great. I, I apologize for ranting. Although that's what I always do. But it's hard to rant about this stuff when I was in Japan because literally when I got off the plane in another country, I didn't really... It, it was always in the back of my mind, but, you know, there's a lot of other stuff going on. Here, it's just for... It's right there. I can't really... I mean, today in Zumba, I don't, when I'm Zumba, Zumba-ing, I don't think about this stuff. I'm just trying to get my steps. But the thing with Zumba, I'm the only dude in the class of like, I guess, 20 women. And they're all watching side-eyeing me because I'm just this random. I just popped up one day like, hey, I'm going to do this. There was another guy in there with me, but then he, I haven't seen him since. And then as there's a big glass window behind us. So as everyone, like the basketball people and every weightlifters, when they come in, come by, they're looking in. And I know, I know that they're not, uh, I'm sure one or two or three or four or five are looking in and they're like, hey, look at that dude. Why is he in there? But I think the rest could care less. And I kind of default to that. And, you know, that's, if they were, if I were to come out and they're like, why are you up in there? I'm like, why not? But I haven't had any of my guy friends or my brother or nephew. I told everyone I'm doing Zoom, but they're like, oh, I want to try. I'm like, but no one is going to try because it's, it's not embarrassing. Well, I don't think it's embarrassing. It's just different. Like if it was more dudes in there, because, and, and today I'm, uh, I was a little annoyed because the teacher, she's always doing like these, like, like Beyonce kite moves, like shake your, sh shake your titties or, or, uh, twerk or whatever. I'm not doing that shit. So I got to like just two step just to, you know, but you know, it's not, it's not for me. It's not a class for me. I get that. And, uh, that's just something I'm doing to kind of, but anyway, let me just stop now because, uh, I'm gonna go see what my dad's up to. Oh yeah, that's me. So if it goes up, just know that you know this. This is just how it is. It's how it's always been. But other than all those things, you know, I'm still making my music. I'm learning so many cool new things which I can't share with anybody because. But just these new things and yeah but i'm out peace